And so to a quick review of the top six in the World Championship, the world champion, of course, Damon Hill. A great season, nine pole positions and eight wins. Yes, and 97 points in the championship. More importantly, never headed in the championship. I think this program, the four hours of a review of the 96 season, is about this man, Damon Hill. A superb achievement. Next year, he's got a totally new challenge as he goes to TWR F1. He has to put his successes from the last few years behind him and really get to work. But then I predict that in Melbourne, Damon Hill will qualify within the top 10 and could easily finish in the points. Wait and see. Second place in his debut year in Grand Prix racing with 78 points for Jacques Villeneuve. He scored three pole positions. He took four wins, but more importantly, he took the championship down to the wire in Japan. I think Jacques Villeneuve will be the man to beat in 1997. He will be in the second year with Williams Renault. He will know the car. He will know the circuits. He has grown in the second half of the season enormously. He is a world champion in the waiting. And of course, he's got a new teammate to worry about in the shape of Heinz Harold Frentzen. Third place in this year's world championship, his first season with Ferrari, four pole positions and three wins for Michael Schumacher. Indisputably still the number one driver in the world in overall terms. But can Ferrari provide that reliability and performance? They may get one or the other, but can they put it together? If they can, then Villeneuve and Schumacher will obviously be the two ch title challengers. The battle will be on between Ferrari and williams Renault. But what about Bennett and Renault? They had a disappointing season this year. Jean Alesi finishing fourth in the championship. No pole positions. More importantly, perhaps, no wins. Four times second, but it was a disappointing year. You know, when this man first raced a Grand Prix car in 89, everybody said, here is a world champion. It's not a question of if, but when. We're still waiting. The talent, the ability, the potential is there, but who's going to take it and use it and make it become a real realistic world championship title contender? Mika Hakkinen next in the world championship. He finished in fifth place. No poles for him, four third places, and a very consistent point-scoring run. This is my hero of the year. That man went through hell at the end of 95 in Adelaide to have achieved fifth in the championship in a car that was not the most competitive car when he had a difficult first half of the season. That, to me, is a hero, and I hope that we'll see more of Mika Hakkinen, both in terms of the championship and Grand Prix wins in 97. And it's a sixth place in the championship, the second of the Benetton Renault drivers, Gerhard Berger. Just one second place, but he came so close to a win. The man showed he can still get it up. He still is potentially capable of winning races. Whether he's capable of winning a world championship, well, he would say yes. But can his team, and we presume Benetton Renault will be his team next year, provide him with the equipment? So that's the top six in the championship. But we will leave you with our Formula One season review, the final word from Damon Hill.